Okay, so we have the value of sine x and tan y, and we want to find out all other kinds of trig ratios, uh, starting with cos x. And in fact, the first thing I need to do is work from sine x and tan y to find the other basic trig ratios of sine of x and y. So let's do a right angle triangle uh, for sine x. So for sine of x to be 4 fifths, I could have a 4 there and a 5 there if this was x. Okay, now of course x is supposed to be uh, an obtuse angle, uh, but I'm using uh, the corresponding acute angle because I'm going to ignore any minus signs until the end. So if that's a 4 and that's a 5, then I can use Pythagoras. This is going to be the square root of 5 squared minus 4 squared, uh, which of course is 3 because it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So therefore, cos of x is going to be, well, it looks like it's going to be 3 fifths and... Um, uh, tan of x is going to be, looks like it's going to be opposite over adjacent 4 thirds. But I have to think about angles uh, that are obtuse. So I need to think of cos of obtuse angles. And on my graph of cos, this is, if you like, 90 degrees or pi by 2 there. That's 180 degrees. And obtuse angles are between 90 and 180 degrees. So because x is obtuse, it will have a negative cos. Okay, I'm told that sine x is positive, which is actually correct. So tan of x, which is sine x divided by cos x, is actually going to be a negative. Or I can think about my tan graph for obtuse angles. Tan has its asymptote at 90 degrees. And for obtuse angles between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, tan is negative. So that's how I've got cos x and tan x. And now I've got to do tan of y, which is 5 twelfths. So in a y triangle, if that was y, that would be 5, that would be 12. Now um, opposite over adjacent, you see, for a tan. And then the hypotenuse would be uh, the square root of uh, 12 squared plus 5 squared, uh, which is 13, because this is a 5, 12, 13 triangle, one of those other well-known ones. So from this triangle, I can say that sine of y equals opposite over hypotenuse 5 thirteenths and y is an acute angle so it will be plus 5 thirteenths and cos of y adjacent over hypotenuse will be 12 thirteenths so i've now set myself up with um, the complete set i knew that san that sine of x was four fifths that was given and i knew that tan of y was um, 5 twelfths that was given and now I can get on with what the question is really about um, which is finding um, some additions of angles but um, number one cos y sorry cos x um, I've already done cos x equals minus three fifths and then for part two I've got sine of x plus y well my formula book tells me that sine of a plus b is um, sine of a cos of b plus cos of a sine of b. So for x and y, it tells me that this is sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. So all I have to do is multiply together the things I've already got set up. So sine of x is 4 fifths times cos of y is 12 thirteenths. So it's 4 over 5 times 12 over 13 plus cos of x, which is minus 3 fifths times sine of y which is 5 thirteenths, and 5 thirteenths are 65, so this is 48 over 65 minus 15 over 65, which is 33 over 65. That was part two, and I've got to do very similar things in three and four. In part three, from the formula book, cos of A minus B, Okay, so here's the formula book telling me about cos of A plus or minus B. And what the formula book does is it gives you these uh, identities, but the symbols are sort of interchangeable. So this could be a plus or it could be a minus. And then when I get to this one, the plus and minus are the other way round. So that means, depending on whether you want the top one or the bottom one from here, you have to use the corresponding one in the middle. So I want to do cos of x minus y in this one. So I want the minus, so therefore this has to be a plus. So I'm going to be doing... Uh, cos of x uh, minus y here, and that's going to be cos x cos y plus sine x sine y. So uh, watch on, and that will be what I do. 
is cos A cos B minus, uh, plus sine A sine B. So part three, I've got cos of uh, X minus Y equals cos X cos Y plus sine X sine Y. So I just have to multiply things together. I have to do the cos times the cos. That's minus three, minus three fifths uh, times cos of y was 12 thirteenths. And then I need to do plus sine of x was four fifths times cos, uh, times sine of y, which is five thirteenths. Okay, so it's a 60 fifths again. This time it's minus 36 60 fifths. Uh, plus 20 65ths, which is going to be minus 16 65ths, is the answer for cos of x minus y. And then the final one was tan of y minus x. So tan of brackets y minus x. And the formula for tan of a plus or minus b gives me a tan of y minus tan of x over um, one the formula book says minus or plus so at this point I've got a minus there so I need to have a plus here and this is going to be tan y tan x so I substitute in tan y and tan x so that was tan y was 5 twelfths take away tan x was minus 4 thirds all over 1 plus uh, tan y which is 5 twelfths times minus four thirds and I can work that out or I can do it on my calculator and I get uh, 63 sixteenths which is the final answer okay so that's that one done